For this video, we are going to be discussing evaluating expressions. So before we talk about evaluating, we need to talk about this word, substitution. So what substitution means is replacing a term with a different equal term. Specifically, we're going to be substituting numbers in for variables. So for example, we're, be we're being told that a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 4, and we want to substitute that in the expression 3ab minus 4b squared. All right. So all this means is wherever we see an a in our expression here, we're going to plug in a 3. And wherever we see a 4, we're, or wherever we see a b, we're going to plug in a 4. Now one thing that, I would, that you always want to do when you do your substitution is put the numbers in in parentheses. So where I see a, I put in a 3, and I put it in parentheses. Where I see b, I put in 4, and I put that in parentheses. The reason why is that this is 3 times a times b. So we want to make sure that we see that it's 3 times 3 times 4. If we didn't do that, if we just substituted 3, and then for a we put in 3, and then for b we put in 4, you might confuse that for 334, when what you really want is 3 times 3 times 4, which is going to be 36, so it's quite a bit different. So we always want to make sure when we substitute that when we put the variables in, we put parentheses around them. So evaluating is simply adding a step to the order of operations. And the step that we're adding is just to substitute. So now our first step in the order of operations is going to be to substitute, to plug our, vari our values in for their corresponding variables. And then we just follow the order of operations. So we're going to substitute, then we're going to use go into our grouping symbols and do the work inside of there. Then we'll do any exponents. Then we'll go into multiplication and division, working from left to right. And then finally we'll do adding and subtracting, also from left to right. So here's our first example. Go ahead and pause the video right now, write this problem down, and then we'll go over it. So, if we're going to evaluate the expression 3x plus 2y squared minus 9 times x minus y when x is 5 and y is 2, our first step is to substitute. And what that means is, wherever I see an x, like here and here, I'm going to plug in a 5. And anywhere that I see a y, I'm going to plug in a 2. I want to make sure that those go in in parentheses. So when I substitute, I get 3 times 5 plus 2 times 2 squared minus 9 times 5 minus 2. All right, all I did is I substituted in my values. So my next step is to follow the order of operations. And we go inside our grouping symbols, and we have 5 minus 2 which gives us 3. So all we've done, we've gone in our grouping symbols, done our subtraction. So our next step in the order of operations is to do exponents. So I've got 2 squared, and 2 squared is just 4. So I end up with the expression 3 times 5 plus 2 times 4 minus 9 times 3. So I've done my substitution, I've done my, ex my grouping, I've done my exponents, now I need to do multiplication and division from left to right. Now, I have 3 times 5 plus 2 times 4 minus 9 times 3. So I'm just going to do all of my multiplying in one step. 3 times 5 gives us 15. 2 times 4 gives us 8. And 9 times 3 gives us 27. So I get the expression 15 plus 8 minus 27. And my final step is just to do my adding and subtracting from left to right. So I'm going to say 15 plus 8. That gives me 15 plus 8 gives me 23. Minus 27 gives me my final answer of negative 4 using adding and subtracting. So my answer is just negative 4. So as you can see, all we did in this problem is add the substitution step to the order of operations. Did our substitution and then just followed the order of operations. All right, so let's try another example. For this example, 
I'd like you to write it down, try it all the way through on your own, and then play the video of me going over it. So take a second, pause the video, and try this one. All right, now that you've tried this, let's go over example two. It says evaluate when m is three and n is six. And I've got three times m times n plus two times m squared, all divided by seven times m minus n plus six. So just like before, our first step is substitution. So wherever I see an m, I plug in a three. Anywhere I see an n, I plug in a six. I make sure that they're in parentheses so I remember that I'm multiplying. All right, now, remember to, to our video on order of operations that although they're not there, there are, they're not written, there are grouping symbols on both the top and bottom of this fraction. So we have to do everything up top and everything on the bottom before we can do our division. So I'm going to kind of go through the order of operations up top and on the bottom at the same time. So if we look up top, our first step is that we have an exponent here, 3 squared, and that gives us 9. On the bottom, we have some grouping symbols, and I have 6 plus 6, and that gives me 12 on the bottom. All right, so now going through, up top, I don't have any exponents, or I've done my exponents, so I'm going to do my multiplying. So here I've got 3 times 3 times 6. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 6 is 54, and 2 times 9 is 18, so up top I have 54 plus 18. On the bottom I also have some multiplication, 7 times 3, which is 21. Alright, so now I've done all my multiplying, and all my multiplying on the top and the bottom. So now up top I'm going to be adding 54 plus 18, which gives me 72. On the bottom, I'm going to be subtracting 21 minus 12, which gets me 9. So now I'm to my very last step, which is divide, to divide my numerator by my denominator. And I do 72 divided by 9, which gives me an answer of 8. So the key thing to remember for this is whenever you have an expression divided by another expression, you have to do everything up top, everything on the bottom, and your last step will be to divide. So my answer here is 8. So I'm going to leave you with a try it problem. It says evaluate when a equals 4, b equals 7, and c equals 2. And I have 5 times a times b times c minus 2 times in the brackets here, b minus a times c. And the whole thing is squared. So you need to do this problem in your notes and bring it to class tomorrow.